session and welcome everyone. So, have I told you lately how much I love being here? <laughs> I really love being here. I'd rather be here than anywhere else in the world. And, you know, the fact of the matter is all we have to do is take three deep breaths and we get to be here no matter where you are. So it's very important to connect. And, you know, I remember when I was first training with exercises uh, to be an instructor about 20 years ago, maybe a little more, uh, the, uh, the, the master would say when I'm coming into the dojo, the Don, Don Center, uh, focus on your Don John or Don Tian which uh, she knew as soon as I came in, she could see I wasn't really present. I was thinking about something else right when I'm coming in, right when I'm greeting her, right when I'm talking to her, it didn't matter. My mind was someplace else. So she would bring my mind centered into my body by just being present with myself. And that's a wonderful, wonderful lesson that I learned and I've carried uh, forever forward. And it's been very helpful to me. So it's all about being in the moment and enjoying the time. So while we're doing that, I want you to know that you can uh, do this class standing or sitting, make it work for you. Uh, don't overdo the class, just have a good time while you're here. The important thing is to have a good time and enjoy the exercise because if you're enjoying the time, you'll come back. If you're not having a good time, you'll find an excuse not to be here. And more than anything, we really, really want you to be here. So having said that, let's start with three heart opening breaths, palms in front of the abdomen, and inhale, just give it a nice big stretch, yeah. And exhale, doesn't that feel good? Now, when you stretch, stretch it all the way down through the legs. Inhale and stretch, oh, feel the stretch in the legs, yeah. And exhale, just internally stretch it out again through the nose, we inhale, always inhale through the nose, and exhale through the nose over the mouth. Now with their feet about hip width apart, and just throw arms around from side to side. And when you get to a side, kind of, do a little curtsy, or you push into a hip. So you bend the knees a little bit, and that puts a little pressure in that hip area. So we want to open up the area and get it warmed up. Um, <laughs> yeah, most of my class, we do a lot of like squatting type of exercise. When we're inhale, we're up. When we're exhaling, we're coming into a squat, and a lot of it, because it's really good for you. Squatting is probably one of the most important exercises that we can do. If we did nothing but squatting, going up and down, that would be the exercise of choice because it gives you tremendous strength and improves your balance and uh, just gives you great coordination too. So with the same up and down motion that we're doing, we'll bring the arms up to shoulder height. So the inside palm goes face up, the outside palm goes down. That brings your mind into the body to be able to focus how you're manipulating your palms. So you're reaching out, stretching behind you. Give it a nice stretch, make it feel good. It's nice for the upper body. And again, we're still bending the knees and pushing that into a hip. Okay, good. Now let's widen the step and reach up high and stretch. <laughs> then go to the other side and stretch. Again, lift up high and stretch. Other side, lift up high and stretch. One more time each side, stretch and stretch and then come back to the center and let's just bounce the knees and just relax the shoulders bring a vibration into the body this is the essence of brainwave vibration because <laughs> eventually the vibration reaches up through the top of the head and it starts at the bottom of the feet so can you feel your feet can you feel the motion in the feet <laughs> Just by doing that, you bring your mind into the body and you're aware of what's going on right now. And that's exactly what we're doing. So as you bounce the knees, I want you to start shaking the palms. Now, shake vigorously because we have a lot of energy centers throughout the body and this helps open them up. Let's add a little wiggle the hips as we do this. So we're kind of bouncing the knees, wiggling the hips. It's not a real intense motion, it's just kind of gentle. Okay, good. <laughs> Now let's add shimmy the shoulders to the action. Now we got four things going. Yeah, we're bouncing the knees, shaking the palms, wiggling hips, and back. shimmy the shoulders, and then bobble the head. That's number five. So we got it all going. This is all shook up here. It's a really good place to be, kind of relaxing into the vibration. Just kind of moving around, let yourself go. This actually helps improve the balance in your body. 
and it stimulates all the energy centers throughout your body. You have 366 of them. There's a lot. Some people say there's only 365, but I think they favor that because that's how many days in the year there are. Now just stop and feel the tingling in your fingers. Fingers. Feel it throughout your whole body. Good. Now, clasp your hands in front of you. Let's stretch the back a little bit. So inhale, straighten the knees, roll the palms forward. Now as you exhale, bend the knees and extend the arms into a stretch. Keep the shoulders over the hips. Then inhale, straighten the knees, and then exhale, stretch, bend the knees and stretch a little bit more. Now when you inhale, straighten the knees and lift up. When you exhale, look up to stretch through the abdomen. Again, inhale, stretch a little bit more, and exhale, just relax out of this and bend the knees. <laughs> All right, now let's put the hands on the shoulders, both hands, and bend the knees. So when you inhale, let's lift the elbows up, straighten the knees and stretch through the abdomen, and then exhale, bend the knees as we relax into this posture. So inhale, straighten the knees and lift the elbows up, stretch through the abdomen, and exhale, bend the knees. <laughs> Again, inhale, stretch, and exhale, relax. Now, let's just do the shoulder. Start with your right shoulder. So inhale, bring the right shoulder up, stretch through the side, and exhale over to the other side. We inhale, stretch through the side, and exhale. Let's do two more times each side. So it's inhale, stretch, and then exhale. Come down, other side. We inhale and stretch, and exhale one more time. Inhale, stretch, and exhale. Come on down through the nose, we're inhaling and stretching, and then exhaling, squat. <laughs> All right, now both shoulders at the same time. So it's inhale, straighten the knees and come up, both shoulders to the ears, and then exhale, bend the knees as we come down. Again, inhale, stretch, and then exhale. You feel it in the uh, mid-back? <laughs> yeah. Inhale and stretch, and then exhale, come on down. Good, now let's uh, stand up straight, drop the head down, relax the shoulders. Let's bring the chin around to the right. When you lift the chin up, you're stretching through the abdomen. And when you exhale, come on down and bend the knees. Let's go around again with the breath. So through the nose, we inhale on the upswing and stretch. And then exhale, come on down. Could you feel the abdomen there? One more time. Through the nose, we're inhaling, stretching the abdomen is very important. And then exhale, come on down. Now let's go the other way in reverse. We're inhaling the upside. And exhaling on the downside as we come into a squat. Inhale, we straighten the knees and stretch. <laughs> Exhale, come on down. One more time around through the nose. We're inhaling. And exhale through the nose or the mouth, whatever you feel comfortable doing there. Then inhale, straighten the knees, come on up, and then exhale, relax. Now, let's bring it uh, up here a little bit. So I want you to bring both palms uh, both elbows up to the shoulder height and then uh, your fists together make a really tight fist here and then i want you to inhale straighten the knees now when you exhale bend the knees and pull back stretch then inhale straighten the knees and then exhale keep the shoulders over the hips as you squeeze those shoulder blades together inhale straighten the knees and then exhale this is three let's do ten of these Inhale, straighten the knees, and then exhale. Give it a good squeeze for number four. Inhale, and exhale. We have five more to go. Inhale, straighten the knees, and then exhale. Give it a good squeeze. Inhale, and exhale. Now, we only have three more. <laughs> Inhale, and exhale. Give it a good squeeze. Two to go. Inhale, and exhale. One more time. Inhale, straighten the knees, and then exhale. Give it a good squeeze. And inhale, come up, and then exhale, blow the palms, and then just shake those fingers out. And making that tight fist kind of puts a little pressure and stress on the palms. Now let's do, uh, put the elbows in and make a tight fist with the elbows out. And then inhale, straighten the knees. When you exhale, bend the knees and pull the thumbs back. Inhale, straighten the knees. Exhale, keep the shoulders over the hips as you squeeze. Inhale, and then exhale, squeeze, three. Inhale and exhale makes number four, going to 10. Inhale, straighten the knees, exhale, we have five more. Inhale and exhale, that's number six. Inhale and exhale, now we have three to go. Inhale, straighten the knees and then exhale, bend the knees for a good squeeze. 
Inhale and exhale. Let's do one more time. Inhale and exhale, squeeze. Then inhale up, hold it here and exhale. Just shake the palms out. Take the legs out a little bit. We've been doing ups and downs a lot. So we've got to relax the body. Now, let's start working on the legs a little bit. We're going to stretch the back of the legs mildly by doing a rotation with the tor torso. We'll inhale on the way up, exhale on the way down. We'll come down our right side first. I'll go to the left, so I'm on the same side as you. And then uh, we're going to feel it. And when we come down, we're going to feel it in our uh, left hip. When we come up on the other side, we'll feel it in our right hip and so on and so forth as we move through. And as you go through the cross, you'll or across the body, you'll stretch the back of the legs. It's a good stretch. Bring your mind into the body here. So inhale up, exhale, come on down the right side. Just hinge at the hips so you're not curving the back. And then move the torso across the midline of the body. And when you inhale up, feel it in your right hip. Yeah. And when you exhale down, we feel it in the, well, the left hip. Go around again, stretching through the back of the legs. Inhale up and exhale down. We feel it in our left hip coming down. Feel it in the right hip on the way up. When you get to the top, we're going to reverse. Now exhale the opposite way. Come on down. Keep those knees locked, stretching through the back of the legs. When you inhale up, you feel it in your right hip. I mean left hip, excuse me. Exhale down. You feel it in your right hip, move it around, inhale up, and exhale down, we'll go one more time around, and then inhale on the upswing, hold it here, and exhale, relax, and kick the legs out. Now let's work on the legs a little bit more, let's stretch both at the same time again. This step, we're going to do a forward bend, so we're using the upper part of the body to pull in the back of the leg, so palms in front of the abdomen, and inhale, straighten the knees, and exhale, stretch. And inhale, lift up, stretch through the abdomen. When the palms get to the ceiling, we exhale, reach out to the side, and then just hinge at the hip and lower the palms down slowly. Just let the weight of the body, let these arms just relax. Keep the shoulders over the hips. So just so you have this nice straight back. And you're pulling on the back of the leg. Let the legs get used to this. Now we're going to add the breath and notice you'll come down even further just by relaxing into it. So through the nose, we're inhaling. Now when you exhale, just relax and just notice yourself lowering more for that stretch of the back of the legs. Yeah. Again, through the nose, we're inhaling and exhaling. Just relax a little bit more into that stretch for the back of the legs. Feel the back of the legs. Again, through the nose, we're inhaling. And exhaling, just relax. Just enjoy your time here. Now, when we inhale, slowly come on up. Take your time. Doesn't that feel good for the back of the legs? And exhale. Everything should try to, you want to just do things that feel really good to you. Make it feel good. Enjoy the stretch. Have a good time while you're here because truth of the matter is you're already perfect in every way. So we're just kind of kind of keeping some uh, extra juice in the pot here so we, so we stay that way. Now let's step forward to right foot and we're going to just stretch that front leg, the back of the leg. We're going to hinge at the hip so you can bend the back knee. Just relax. So the whole focus is on this right leg. So inhale up. Now exhale. Keep the back uh, straight as you just hinge at the hip. Try not to curve the back and come down to where you don't come down any further. And just this is a challenge for the balance. So just focus on the stretch for the back of the leg for a moment. Now, let's add the breath, three of them. So through the nose, we're inhaling, feel the body expand. When we exhale, just relax into that stretch for the back of the leg. Keep the back straight, just let yourself relax into the stretch. Again, through the nose, we're inhaling, big long inhale, and exhaling a little bit more to that stretch for the back of the leg. Oh, that's a good way to bring your mind to the body one more time, inhaling. And exhaling, oh, it's a good stretch. <laughs> now, when we inhale, slowly come on up and exhale, relax. And I, I just love being here. Let's kick the legs out a little bit. Let's do the other side the same way. Step forward with the other leg. So hands in the hips. And you can even walk your hands down the legs if you prefer to do that. So that's an option for some of you. So inhale up and exhale, bend the back knee and just Come down to where you don't come down any further. 
Now, if you prefer to support your body by holding on to the leg, you can do that. All right, I like to do it kind of freestyle. It's a little, it makes it a little more difficult, I think. So let's get the leg uh, warmed up here. Challenging our balance, yes, we're getting in motion here. So through the nose, we're inhaling, feel the body expand and exhale for breath one of the next three breaths we're gonna take into the stretch. Again, through the nose, we're inhaling and exhaling into that stretch for the back of the leg, that feels so good. But again, inhale and exhale boy that feels great oh now when you inhale slowly come on up and exhale just relax remember not to overdo it make it all work really good for you kicking the legs out a little bit take the arms shim the shoulders and bobble ahead all right now i recommend that uh, at this point in time we start bringing that cardio up just a little bit so let's just go for a little bit of a walk it's a nice little stroll and the knees are coming up just a little bit right now. We're gonna slowly warm up. Now we're gonna start bringing our knees up a little bit higher and swinging arms up a little bit more. So bring it up just a little bit more. Bring up the pace. Yeah, we wanna bring the cardio up just a little bit more. So let's just kind of lift up even higher, swinging the arms a little bit more vigorously. Yeah, <laughs> oh, y'all look great. This is doing good. I love this. Okay, now. Start slowing down, slowing down. We don't have to do too much, just enough to get the heart rate up a little bit. And just to kind of enjoy some of these stretches here. All right, now, <laughs> uh, what I like to do now is take a step over to the right, bring the left foot in. Step over to the left, bring the right foot in. And let's just start doing this a little bit, just stepping back and forth. Now we're gonna kind of do some squats with this. So down, up, down, up, down, up. So squats when our legs apart, step out and up, 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 step out and up. And then come to the center and just kind of walk it out a little bit, just relax the body. Okay, now, <laughs> We're going to just do some just regular old fashioned squats and do your best to keep the shoulders over the hips so you're not leaning forward too much and try not to let your knees go past the toes. We're just going to kind of like sit straight down. So inhale up and exhale. Come on down. Yeah. Again, inhale, stretch up and then exhale. Come on down. Can you feel it in your rumpus? Again, inhale and exhale. Bend the knees. Inhale. And exhale, number four. We're going to go to 10 of these. So inhale up and exhale through the nose or the mouth. I'm in, exhaling through my mouth now. Inhale up and exhale makes number six. Inhale up and then exhale. We have three more to go. Inhale and exhale, bend the knees. Inhale, straighten the knees and then exhale. Come on down. And this, that was the last one. We inhale up and exhale, relax and just kick the legs out. And then just go for a nice walk and swing the arms a little bit. <laughs> yeah, uh, this is good. Okay, now let's come to a stop. I want you to take your palms and then just kind of follow me. So take your palms and inhales, straighten the knees, bring the palms up to our shoulder height, roll them forward. And when you exhale, push out, and bend the knees. Now, when you inhale, pull the palms in towards your chest, straighten the knees. Now we're gonna go out to the side. So roll the palms out to the side and exhale, bend the knees and push out and stretch. Now we're gonna bring the palms behind our head. So inhale, straighten the knees, come behind our head and then exhale, push out and stretch. Now we're gonna bring them down. So inhale, straighten the knees, come up over the head and exhale, push down as you bend the knees. Now we're gonna roll the palms up as we inhale, bring them up, keep the knees straight and exhale, push the palms down. And then just take a little bit, kick the legs out for a second and then go for a little bit of walk with me. Yeah, our heart rate's coming up pretty good right now, which is a good thing. Yep. Okay, let's come back to a stop now. You do some little bit twist a little bit at this point. So looking straight ahead, bring your right hand behind the head. We're gonna bring our elbow across and down. 
Now, if you're nervous about the uh, mineral content in your spine and your bones, don't, don't twist too much. So inhale, straighten the knees. Now when you exhale, bend the knees and uh, bring the elbow behind you, look straight behind. Then inhale, while you're looking straight behind, straighten the knees. And when you exhale, bend the knees into that squeeze. Now when you inhale, come up to the center and exhale, relax and bend the knees. Now put the other hand behind the neck and inhale, straighten the knees. And exhale, bend the knees as you look behind you. Now with this look behind, we straighten the knees on the inhale up. And exhale, come on down into the squat. Then inhale, straighten the knees, come to the center. And exhale, relax. Then just shake the arms out, shim the shoulders, bob the head, keep the legs out. All right, now we're going to do some uh, exercises that uh, some of you like, I know, love to use weights while we do some of these, so it's optional. I'm going to teach without the weights, but um, again, you want to make it work for you and don't overdo it. So I'll give you a moment to grab some weights. And by the way, you can take a sip of water too, okay? So you might want to have a sip of water. So let's see here. Okay. <laughs> Let me follow my own advice. A nice sip of water. Okay, this first one we're going to do is an overhead uh, press with a side tap, and you can do it without weights or with weights. I'm going to teach without weights, so just put some weights in your hand if you want, and if you're using weights, try not to go down to the floor every time, use a table or a chair to set them on so you don't have to stoop down, and, and we want to protect our back at all times. So make, make a nice tight fist, and with the feet hip width apart, let's inhale, bring the uh, Fist up to our shoulders and then exhale, come down to a squat. Now, we're going to just do a uh, lift our right arm up and tap the right foot out to the side. It's called an overhead press with a side tap. So inhale, lift up and stretch, and then exhale, come on down to a squat. Other side, inhale, stretch, and then exhale. We're doing 10. This is one. Inhale, stretch, and then exhale, come on down. Inhale, stretch, and then exhale. Number two, inhale, stretch, and then exhale. Number three, inhale, stretch, and then exhale completes three. <laughs> inhale, stretch, and then exhale. Could you feel the weight all down to your hips? Inhale through the side, and then exhale. That's number four. Inhale, lift up and stretch, and then exhale. Come on down. Inhale, give it a good stretch, and then exhale. This is really good for improving your balance. Inhale, stretch, and then exhale, come on down. Inhale, stretch, and then exhale. We got four more to go. Inhale, give it a good stretch, and then exhale, bend the knees. Inhale, stretch, and then exhale, three more. Inhale, give it a good stretch, and then exhale, come on down. Inhale, give it a good stretch, and then exhale, two more. Inhale, stretch, and then exhale, come on down. Can you feel the stretch through the waist? And then exhale, come on down. One more, inhale, and exhale. Always inhale through the nose, it's inhale, and exhale. Then inhale, lower the palms, and exhale. Put the weights down if you're using them, or and then when you come back to the center, join us to shake your palms out. Kind of clean up the energy centers through the body. Energy centers are important because they, are, they carry the, the signals throughout your body, electrical charges. So we're giving an instruction from point A to point B. It has a free flow of energy as we do these exercises. So we're just opening up everything. All right, now let's try the next one. This will be a, a squat with a punch. So if you're using weights, go ahead and take a moment to grab the weights. If you're not using weights, that's fine. Just make it work for you. Make a tight fist. We're going to come into a squat. So inhale, come up in the squat, and then exhale into position. So the knees are bent. The shoulders are over the, over the hips as much as you can. Now the knees are out, so the, the hips are over the ankles. So we're going to do the right arm, come and stand up, and then come down, and then we'll stand up for the left arm. So inhale, push out, punch out, and then exhale, come down. Let's do a little twist with the fist. So inhale, twist the fist, and then exhale, that's one. 
Inhale, stretch, and then exhale. Come down, keep the shoulder over the hip, and inhale, pull in the back as you stretch, and then exhale, that's number two. Inhale and stretch, and then exhale. Come on down through the nose, we're inhaling, and exhale, completes three. Seven to go, inhale, and exhale. Come on down, inhale, and exhale. That's number four. Inhale, straighten the knees, and then exhale, bend the knees. Inhale, straighten the knees, and then exhale. We have five more. Inhale, and exhale, other side. Inhale, that's a good stretch, and exhale, four to go. Inhale, and exhale. Inhale, stretch, and then exhale, last two. Inhale, keep the shoulder over the hip, just stretch the arm and then exhale. Could you feel the stretch to the shoulder blade? Inhale, stretch through the shoulder blade and exhale, we have one more. Inhale, stretch and then exhale, come on back. Inhale, straighten the knees and then exhale, bend the knees. Now, inhale, straighten the knees, come up. Exhale, lower the palms down. If you have weights, set them to the side for a moment and then come back and join me. Join us all as we just start shaking the palms, kicking the legs out. Now we pause here for three heart opening breaths. So put the palms in front of the abdomen. And when you inhale, just open the chest and stretch through the abdomen and the legs, and then exhale those squats. We need to stretch the legs too, yes. Again, through the nose, we're inhaling and stretch, yeah. And exhale, the stretch feels oh so good right now. Again, through the nose, we're inhaling and stretching through the body. And then exhale, always take time to stretch. Now just take a moment and walk it out. Just relax the body. Shimmy the shoulders, bobble the head, okay? Now this next one's called a tricep kickback. So if you're using weights, take a moment to go ahead and grab some weights. If you're not using weights, just make a tight fist. So what we're gonna do is it's a slight bend in the knees and a hinge at the hip. And all we're gonna do is put, pull both arms behind our back into a stretch. So we begin with an inhale and exhale, kick back, stretch all the way up, feel it stretch in your abdomen and your thigh and your muscles. Inhale and exhale, stretch and inhale and exhale. This is for your triceps, the back of the arm. Inhale and exhale, number four. Inhale and exhale, we got five more. Inhale and exhale, give it a good stretch. Inhale and exhale, six. Inhale and exhale, that's seven. Inhale and exhale, makes eight. Inhale and exhale, that's nine. Inhale and exhale, that's 10. Then inhale up and then exhale, lower the palms down. If you have weights, put them on the uh, table and then come back and join us as we shake the fingers out, smoothing out the energy. Now kick the legs out. Shim the shoulders, bobble the head. Let's just take a quick little sip of water. Water's really good for you. Mm. Just a little sip is good. You know, you can't take too much water. I used to not think that until <laughs> I had a strange blood test. I was drinking a lot of water to flush out my system. Then I went for my blood test and well, they, I was low on a bunch of things. And then we discovered, well, yeah, if you drink a lot of water, you water down your blood. Oh, okay. <laughs> anyway, and it was, it's not a bad thing. It's good. It's just that uh, it uh, made my blood kind of thin. All right, now this next one, is simply a march with a bicep curl. So when we bring our right knee up, we'll bring our uh, left arm up into a, like a bicep curl. So if you, you wanna use weights, you can use weights, they're optional, you don't have to. And uh, so let's start with our right knee and left arm. So it's through the nose, we inhale, come up. We start with the inhale and then exhale, come up. And then inhale, come down, other side. Exhale, come up and inhale makes one. Exhale, come up and inhale, come down. Exhale, come up and inhale, that's two. Exhale, come up and inhale makes three. Exhale, come up 
and inhale. Now that's only two. Exhale, come up and inhale, come down. Exhale, come up and inhale. Now we're three. Exhale and inhale. Exhale and inhale. That's four. Exhale and inhale. Exhale and inhale. Five more. Exhale and inhale. Exhale and inhale. Exhale and inhale. Exhale and inhale. Three more. Exhale and inhale. Exhale and inhale. Two more. Exhale and inhale. Exhale and inhale. One more. Exhale and inhale. Exhale and inhale. No more. And inhale and exhale. If you're using weights, put them up to the side. Then come back and join us and start shaking your fingers out and kicking the legs out. Now it's time for three heart opening breaths. Palms in front of the abdomen and inhale. Give it a nice big stretch and exhale. Two more. Inhale, give it a nice big stretch and exhale. One more. Inhale and stretch and exhale. No more. Now I invite you to uh, bring a chair up to support, not to sit down, just to use for support. <coughs> We're going to do a couple of exercises that are just to stretch the body out a little bit and improve our balance. Now stand at the back leg of the chair and just know that the chair is right here to hold on to if you need to. Take your inside foot and just step back. Nice wide step. All right, now, chair's here to hold on to. Now, the wider your step, the more stable you will, you will be. You want to challenge your balance, just make your step narrow so you can adjust that a little bit. So palms in front of the abdomen, keep the leg knees locked. So inhale, let's reach out to the side and exhale into a stretch. Now, roll the palms up as you inhale, stretching through the wrist, the forearms, lifting up, stretching through the abdomen. Now, when you exhale, I want you to bend the front knee and just sink right down. So the body's centered between the legs and just hold it here. Just find your balance, but aggressively lift up. So you're pulling up in your abdomen. So you have to really straighten those elbows to pull up in the abdomen. Now let's add the breath through the nose. We inhale, lift up and stretch, and then exhale, hold it right where you've achieved. Inhale, stretch just a little bit more, and exhale, hold it. One more time, inhale, give it a good stretch, and then exhale, slowly, slowly, lower the palms down, and step in. Take a moment to kick the legs out. Shake the arms, shim the shoulders, bobble the head. Now let's step back with the outside foot, Okay, nice wide step. And again, narrow your step to challenge your balance or widen it to give you more stability. And again, the chair is there for to hold on to if we need to. All right, palms in front of the abdomen, knees are locked. And inhale, reach out to the side and exhale in a stretch. Then roll the palms up, stretching through the forearms, lifting up, continue stretching. Now when you exhale, bend the front knee and just sink and hold it right there. And just hold it, let the body get used to it. Keep lifting up, straighten those elbows so you're pulling on the abdomen. Yeah, now <laughs> let's add the breath through the nose. Let's inhale, lift up and stretch, and then exhale, look up if you want. Inhale, stretch a little bit more, and exhale, hold it. One more time. Inhale, just a little bit more. Now when you exhale, slowly lower the palms down, and then just step forward. Now take a moment to kick both legs out, shake the arms, shim the shoulders, and bobble the head. It's time for a push-up. So, bring your hands onto the chair and step back so you, so when you lower your chest down, it's going to be on the top of the chair. Now you can use a wall if you prefer, or you can use a table. Let's inhale and exhale into position. Now hold it here, we're gonna begin with an inhale. Now when you exhale, push up, and inhale, come down. Exhale, push up, and inhale, that's two. 
Exhale, push up and inhale. That's three going to 10. Exhale and inhale. Number four. Exhale, push up and inhale. Five more. Exhale, keep those knees locked and inhale, come down. Exhale and inhale. Four more. Exhale and inhale. That's three. Exhale and inhale. Two more. Exhale and inhale. One more. Exhale and inhale. No more. Then inhale up and exhale. Relax. And now shake the arms, give the shoulders, kick the legs out. Well, now let's work on strengthening the calves a little bit or do some heel lifts. Let's start with both at the same time. You can use a chair for support if you want. Maybe you don't have to. I'm not going to do it because it's easier than doing it on one leg, which we'll do next. So we're just going to, you can use the same hand motion if you do it freestyle. So inhale, lift both heels up, hold it for a count of 10, 4, 5, 6, 7, 8, nine, 10, and slowly come on down. We'll do three more, two more sets. Through the nose, we inhale up, one, two, three, four, five, six, seven, eight, nine, 10, and slowly, slowly, <laughs> one more time. Inhale, lift up, one, two, three, four, five, six, seven, eight, nine, 10, and slowly bring it down. I'm having a great time. I'm so glad to be here. Now let's bring our uh, left foot up and we'll, we'll uh, just bring the right heel up or whichever one we'll do the up. We're gonna do both at the same time. So whichever one you wanna start with is okay. Whatever suits you tickles me plumb to death. So through the nose, we inhale up. One, two, three, four, five, six, seven, eight, nine, ten, and slowly come on down. Two more sets. Inhale up, one, two, three, four, five, six, seven, eight, nine, ten, and slowly, slowly, one more set. Inhale up, one, two, three, four, five, six, seven, eight, nine, ten, and slowly bring it down. And take a moment to kick the legs out before we do the other side. Just relax the body, shake the arms out. Now let's bring the other leg up. <laughs> And now we'll bring this heel up. Uh, so to the nose, inhale up. One, two, three, four, five, six, seven, eight, nine, ten, and slowly come on down. Inhale up. One, two, three, four, five, six, seven, eight, nine, ten, and slowly bring it down. One more set. Through the nose, we're inhaling in the up. Swing, two, three, four. Five, six, seven, eight, nine, ten, and slowly come on down. Now just relax and kick the legs out. Take the arms, shift the shoulders, bobble the head. Now I invite you to uh, kind of like come in front of the chair and then slowly lower your behind down on it. And put your hands on the knees. We're going to do some gluteal amnesia relief exercises. Uh, gluteal amnesia, the uh, slang term for that is sleepy butt. So this kind of strengthens your butt muscles and it's also good for the core. We're just gonna lift the behind up for, you know, just to get it off the chair just a little bit, okay? You don't have to do too much to make it work for you. So we lead with the chin and it stretches through the back and pulls it behind us. So here we go, through the nose, we inhale up, one, two, three, and exhale slowly, bring it down. Again, inhale up, one, two, three, and exhale slowly, bring it down, that's two. Inhale up, one, two, three, and exhale slowly, slowly bring it down. Number three, inhale up, one, two, three, and exhale slowly, slowly, that's number four. Inhale up, one, two, three, and exhale slowly, bring it down. Uh, that's, we got five more. Inhale up, one, two, three, and exhale slowly, slowly, bring it down. Yeah, slowly bring it down. So inhale up, one, two, three, and exhale slowly. Feel the stretch in your lower back as you're coming down. Three more. Inhale up, one, two, three, and exhale slowly, slowly. Two to go. Inhale up, one, two, three, and exhale slowly. Come on down one more time. 
Inhale up, one, two, three, and exhale slowly, come on down. Okay, now take a moment, just kick the legs out a little bit, shake the arms, shift the shoulders. Let's do three heart opening breaths from here. Palms in front of the abdomen, and inhale, just give it a nice big stretch, and exhale, let's do two more. Inhale and stretch, and then exhale one more time. Inhale, give it a great big stretch. Yeah, feels so good. And exhale. Okay, now we're gonna bring our right knee up and our right, uh, and then our right arm up. And then we'll do the left side. We'll do a set of six and then we'll do both at the same time. Starting with the right side first, through the nose, we inhale up, one, two, three, and exhale slowly, bring it down. Other side, inhale up, one, two, three, and exhale slowly, bring it down. Five more through the nose. We're inhaling up, two, three, and then exhale slowly, come on down. Other side through the nose or inhale up, two, three, and then exhale slowly. <laughs> Do we have, that's three, three more. Inhale up, one, two, three, and exhale slowly, come on down. Inhale, give it a good stretch, and then exhale slowly, two to go. Inhale, give it a good stretch, and then exhale, bring it down. Inhale, give it a good stretch, and then exhale slowly, we have one more to go. Inhale, give it a good stretch, and then exhale, oh, come on down. Other side, inhale, give it a good stretch, and then exhale slowly. Now let's do, let's do the knees, uh, both at the same time. And you need to pivot on your behind, so if you're too far back in the chair, it doesn't work too good. You need to scooch up in your chair just a little bit. And you can, uh, the important thing is to get the knees up, so if you need to hold on on the chair, the, the sides or the back, whatever kind of feels good to you, okay. Ideally, you'd be able to do it uh, freestyle like me and use the same hand motion. So through the nose, we inhale up, one, two, three, and then exhale slowly, bring it down, yeah. Again, through the nose, we inhale up, one, two, three, and exhale. That's number two, four to go. Through the nose, we inhale up, one, two, three, and exhale, slowly bring it down. We have three more. Inhale, give it a good stretch, and then exhale. Oh, <laughs> two more. Inhale, give it a good stretch, and then exhale slowly. Come on down, we have one more to go. Inhale, give it a good stretch, and then exhale slowly, bring it down. Oh boy, it's feeling so good. Now sit comfortably in the chair, shake the arms out, chin the shoulders, three heart opening breaths again. Palms in front of the abdomen, and inhale, the blood loves the oxygen. Nice stretch too, and then exhale. Let's do that again. So inhale, give it a good stretch, and then exhale one more time. Inhale, give it a good stretch, and exhale. Now let's stand up for a minute and do some stretches. So inhale, stand up, and then exhale. Put the chair off to the side. Too much chair today. Again, if you're sitting already, it's okay. You need to sit, it's all right. It's not, not a problem. I wanna just stretch through the body a little bit again. Kind of do the kind of same uh, things that we did when we warmed up. And uh, you'll feel a little bit different in the body now, a little bit more limber, things work a little bit better. We're gonna start with a forward bend. So palms in front of the abdomen, and inhale, reach out to the side, and exhale into a stretch. Then roll the palms up as you lift up through the abdomen, then exhale, reach out to the side, then drop the palms down, lock the back of the, uh, straight, straight, lock the knees, so you're stretching the back of the legs, and just let the arms hang, just let the arms relax. The torso is pulling on the, on the back of the legs. Try not to curve the back. Now let's add the breath. Through the nose, we inhale and exhale. Just relax a little bit more into that stretch for the back of the leg. Notice how much more limber you are now. Again, inhale, big long inhale, and then exhale a little bit more into that stretch for the back of the legs. One more time, inhale, and exhale even more deeply for that stretch in the back of the legs. Now, when we inhale very slowly, come on up and exhale, relax and just kick the legs out. Now, let's do one leg at a time. Step forward with your right foot, hands on the hips, just hinging at the hip, keep the back straight. Through the nose, we inhale 
And then exhale, just lower yourself into the position. We've done a lot of squats, so this is really nice for the back of the legs. Then hold it here for a moment, just let your leg get used to it again. Now let's add the breath through the nose. We inhale and exhale. Oh, that stretch. Uh, just let yourself relax into that stretch. Again, inhale, big long inhale and exhale. Oh, that feels so good. One more time, inhale and exhale. Just bring your mind right into that stretch for the back of the leg. Now, when we inhale slowly, slowly, come on up and exhale, relax and kick the legs out. Let's do the other side and balance. Step forth your left foot, hands in the hips. So it's inhale up and then exhale, slowly lower the torso down. And just hold it here for a moment. Let the leg get used to it. Let your body find its balance here. Now let's add the breath through the nose. We're inhaling and exhaling into that stretch for the back of the leg. Two more breaths through the nose. We're inhaling and exhaling a little bit more into that stretch for the back of the legs. Now when we inhale, we exhale even more deeply into that stretch for the back of the leg. Try not to curve the back. Now, when we inhale, come on up and exhale, relax and kick the legs out. <laughs> All right, now I want to conclude this part with a little body tapping through the whole body. Body tapping is very important. We have this uh, stuff called fascia that's made up of collagen throughout the entire body and it carries the electrical signals really well. We want to stimulate it so everywhere we tap we send a little impulse and energy so we stimulate that area so it brings a lot of nice uh, improves your overall complexion and you, the elasticity of your entire body is improved from body tapping so you might want to take your glasses off if you're wearing them because we're going to tap around your eyes let's start tapping at the top of our head and just all around the flat part and then come to the crown that's the, where the head starts to curve. And then just come down the back of the head. Okay. And then come behind the ears, behind the ears, on top of the ears, on top of the ears, all around the temples, the temples, the temples. Now, let, while we're here by the ears, let's just tap right on top of the ears so we're stimulating them. And let's just take a moment just to pinch them really fast. Just kind of pinch all around, just kind of bring a little vibration into them. Yeah, good. Now back to the temples, the temples, all around the temples. Now let's come to the forehead, all around the forehead, the forehead. Okay, now let's come down to the eyebrows, on top of the eyebrows, outside corners of the eyes. Come on down to the eye sockets, the eye sockets. And then just come straight down below the nose and the upper level of the gum line. Uh-huh and then come up to the back teeth, and then come right back down to the front again. Okay, now let's come down to the lower level. <laughs> All right. And then come up to the back teeth, and then come back down to the front. Okay, now let's come down the chin, all around the chin. Got a lot of energy centers here. This is, we have 366 throughout our entire body. Come underneath the jaw and then just start coming up the jaw bone. Behind the jaw, there's some soft tissue in that area. This is a little bit glandular uh, tapping we're doing. Now, we're gonna do scrunchy face and open face. Now, when we do this, you can make a sound and uh, 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 so uh, you might you wanna unmute yourself if you're allowed to do that. I don't know if, if uh, we can unmute you again. So. If it works, great. And then just join me in making the sound because it's uh, sounds are important. You don't really have to do, oh yeah, you're unmuting yourself, great. All right, now, you're gonna make a nice tight fist and scrunch your face up really, really tight. Just scrunch it up. This is good for your complexion and just a nice stretch and it also improves the circulation through your whole body. On the count of three, we're gonna do open face and you can make a sound and stick your tongue out. One, two, three, blah. <laughs> Ah, that was beautiful. Give it a good squeeze. Two more of these. We're going to really tight. Uh, crunch it up. Okay. One, two, three. Ah. <laughs> <laughs> ah, <I love> this. <laughs> good. Uh, good.
Good job. Really tighten out. This is the last one. Make it count. Oh, it's tight as count. One, two, three. Beautiful. Okay. Just take a moment and feel the face. Oh, yeah. <laughs> Bring your mind into the face for a minute. Oh, yeah. All this wonderful stuff going on. Okay. Now take your right arm and extend it with a thumb up. Drop the head down. So you have some space here to tap right where the shoulder connects to the neck, right on top of your lungs, yeah. Okay, now on top of the shoulder, top of the bicep, top of the forearm, nice and hard. Come on down the forearm, to the wrist, wrist, top of the thumb, top of the thumb, front of the fist, pinky the karate chop through the lower wrist, and start coming up the forearm. It's very stimulating, so tap as hard as you're comfortable. And now do the tricep, tricep, tricep. And now do the armpit, armpit, armpit. Okay, now upper part of the chest on the way to the other side. Let's go to the other side. So left arm out, drop the head down, tap up right there where the shoulder connects to the next. You're pounding down into the lungs. Now on top of the shoulder, top of the bicep, top of the forearm. Oh, come on down the forearm. On top of the wrist, top of the thumb. Down the fist, taking the karate chop, lower wrist. Start coming up the forearm to the elbow. Now the tricep, 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 armpit, armpit. Okay, up to the upper part of the chest. Now, <laughs> this is another area where you want to, you can kind of like shout it out. If there's any stress left in the body, this gets rid of it. So follow me. When I go ha, you go ha. If I go ha ha, you go ha ha. And then we're going to end up just laughing our behind us. Ready? <laughs> ha! Uh, ha! 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 Abdomen, abdomen, very stimulating. Okay. Now lean forward and do your kidneys look, um, just above your hips. Okay, now do the tailbone, 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 yeah. We have a lot of stem cells in the tailbone. This helps release them into the blood straight a little bit. Okay, come on down to the buttocks, buttocks, buttocks. Come on down the back of the legs, come up the insides. Okay, do the hips, 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 hips. Come on down the outsides of the legs. Do the insteps, insteps. Come up the front of the legs. When you get to the knees, hang out at the knees, all around the knees. Come up your thighs. Back to the abdomen, 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 abdomen. So your homework assignment, should you choose to accept, is to tap your abdomen for two to three minutes every day. And the best way to do it is to tap all around do it in a clockwise direction because this is the way your intestines flow. In other words, come down your left side, underneath the belly button, up the right side, right underneath the rib cage, down your left side. I'm not mirror teaching this, so up the right side, underneath the rib cage, down the left side. Okay, now let's put our hands on our shoulders and sweep down the body to smooth out the energy. And just use a positive affirmation with me and just say it feels so good. All the way down to the toes. Ready? It feels it so good. So good. Oh, Let's do two more of those. Ready? It feels, it feels so good. good. You can say it how you want, but the third one I like to go in Korean, which is I shwanada. Ready? I shwanada. <laughs> Thank you very much, everybody. Join me for a little chat. Yeah, thank you all for being here.
Thank you so much, Mitch, for a great <laughs> session. It does feel so good. <laughs> uh, great.